Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Craft World Live. We've got a very exciting live today because we have another brand new launch now. Craft Stash are launching new products all the time. We have hundreds every week. But when we get a gorgeous collection like this, it's well deserving of its own hour on Facebook, on Craft World and of course on YouTube. So we have the brand new paper discovery which is called Elegant Bathroom and it is exactly that. Very, very elegant. All about relaxing, taking time for yourself. We've got some gorgeous mirrors and vanity units in there as well. It is absolutely stunning. Now we're hoping to have Olga chat with us in a little while on the show. We're just making sure we can get that connection. So what I'm going to do is bring you down in a moment and show you the product straight away and then we'll soon be getting into a demonstration. Olga has kindly sent over some video demonstrations for us to watch and I'll be getting my own hands a little bit crafty as well on these too. Let's say a quick hello to everybody who's watching. So uh, we've got Karina, we've got Avril, hello to everybody. Um, Michelle uh, Lynn Clifton, I see you every week. Thank you for joining us again. Pippa Smith as well. Um, yeah, yeah, very foggy East Yorkshire. It's very chilly here. Snow predicted for tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. Um, Tracy Ann said she loves paper discovery. Karen Kenny, hello to you. Benita, hello to you. There's so many of you. Now, we've got an extra special offer on at the moment on paper discovery. We have got the new collection, but if you're loving the older collections, maybe this is the first time that you have come across paper discovery. I'm thinking, oh, I really like that stuff past collections are now 25% off over at Craft Stash. All you need to do is pop in the code and that's PD25 at checkout. And don't forget as well, if you are a Craft World Premium member, you're going to be getting an additional 10% off of that price as well. So that's an amazing, amazing bargain for you. There's loads of different collections over there. So go and have a look over on craftstash.co.uk. Shall we take a look at this new collection? Come down onto my desk. You can see I've already got my die cutting machine and everything. I am ready to get crafting in a little while. So elegant bathroom now. Olga is over in the Ukraine, so I'm wondering whether, someone else might know, actually might be able to tell me whether, in the Ukraine a bathroom is more than just, as we know it in the UK, a bathroom, because we have got some beautiful pieces here that are far too nice to be in my bathroom. They'd definitely be in the bedroom or the dressing room. If you've got a dressing room, I'm very jealous. But these are stunning. So we have got a beautiful dress form there. We've got the gilded mirror. We've got the dressing table and the stool to match. We've got elements like the rug, the floor rug there. We've got potted plants, a rose and a vase, perfume bottles as well. In fact, I want to open this up and I want to be able to show you. I think this is, brand, this is a brand new packet. I want to show you the size of that dress form just so you can see because they're much larger than they're showing on the packet. You can see there's a lovely big size. In fact, let's have a look. There's a card here that I've particularly used this collection with. So we've got like a view through a dressing room. We've got the mirror on the front. Take time out. We'll see that stamp in a moment. We've got that dressing table there with the perfume bottles on, with the uh, stool as well. This gorgeous curtain we'll come to in a little while. It is included in the collection. And then you have that dress form there. Isn't that gorgeous? With the potted plant as well. So there's one example of how you can be using this. Let's pop these back. You can see you get a lot of dyes in this particular set. Lots of metal for your money, I like to say. So it makes it quite heavy. It's brilliant. But we've also got the fan, the mirror, the brushes, the combs, the slippers in there, little bows. All sorts. Olga really does think about every single little element in her die sets. Right, so moving on, we've then got the fittings collection. Now this is more how I would imagine a bathroom, except I'm extremely jealous if anyone has a chandelier in their bathroom. That would be amazing. It is my dream, and I don't know about any of you, to one day own a house where I can have a bath, a roll top, freestanding bath with the freestanding taps, the shower head and everything as well. 
that would be amazing. My auntie's got one and she has a window just here so she can lay in the bath and look out the window. She lives in the countryside, so no one's going to see. <laughs> but we've got in here, we've got the weighing scales. We've obviously got the toilet, the old sort of Victorian style toilet with the cistern. We've got the, um, the basin there as well. It's a basin, not a sink. My dad was a plumber. This was drummed into me from very little. It's a basin, not a sink. We've got another plant in there. We've got all the extra fittings as well. So we've got the taps here for the basin. So you can die cut these from mirror card and put them onto your white ceramic or whatever color you like basin. We've got the same with the feet of the bath as well there. Now these pale gray elements that you're seeing on the designs, these are embossing detail or stenciling detail through your die. We'll show you that later. The next one we've got is the accessories collection. This is where that curtain comes in. You saw the size of the curtain that we had on the, oh, I didn't show you a card. Sorry, I'll skip back very quickly to the bathroom, the um, fittings collection there. So you can see you've got the bath there. Let me just make sure there's not too much glare for you. You've got the bath with the taps. You've got the bubbles. They'll come in in a moment. We've got beautiful sentiments as well. You can really have a lovely bathroom scene or a spa scene maybe. But that'd be perfect for giving away like a, a gift voucher or gift card to a spa once they're all opened up again. So coming back, sorry, to the um, accessories die set, I just want to show you this curtain again. Look at the size of that. That's absolutely beautiful. So it's intended to be like a shower curtain, but you can absolutely create yourself um, a window with a pair of them. This could be a theatre theater curtain as well if you wanted to. You can really go to town and make that as versatile as you need it. So that's another beautiful card. We'll come back to the cards in a moment. In here, we've also got the mirror, we've got the towel rail, we've got the valance, we've got the um, the shelf with the towel rail underneath. You've got the bowl, so you could pop that on top of the shelf there. You've got the jug. The towels can hook over the towel rail, the rug. It's just really beautiful. Even the little details like the, the towel that's folded up ready to go on the hoop that you put on the wall and things like that, folded towels. I love, I love this set. I think just absolutely brilliant just so so clever and so different so unique that's what we absolutely love about paper discovery everything is so unique uh, a quick hello to everyone who's just joined us so michelle hello to you and karina i think i've said hello to you i apologize already um pamela my hand basin is shaped like that one i'd love a hand basin shaped like that that would be gorgeous um, Marta's joined us, loving the wallpaper design. Well, I'm actually going to look at the, some papers now because this is also included in the collection very quickly. We're going through these gorgeous papers here. This paper pad is beautiful, 180 GSM. We have got all of these different designs. This design and this is probably my favorite backing papers because they are such gorgeous vintage colors. We've got one printed here with all of those little icons on that will match the dies that you've got. We've got like wallpaper there. We've got the marble effect as well. Now this is mine that I've been using. So this is what I wanted to show you. I was going to say I hope there's some left because I use these a lot. This is actually floorboards and the wallpaper. So you can absolutely build up your scene. Aren't they just gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. So you've got all of those papers there. And then we have two embossing folders. So the first one has an array of sentiments written on it. All the different words for relax, unwind, take a break, time for me, lazy days. Absolutely perfect for telling somebody they need to take some time out. This is going to be perfect for people like, I don't know, everyone's working hard at the minute. Everyone in their own situation is working hard. But, uh, and, you know, key workers, NHS workers, things like this, to tell them to take a load of when they get a day off, have a rest, have a hot bubbly bath and take some time for themselves. And then we've got another large A5 embossing folder, and this is that wallpaper and the floorboards effect, but you can absolutely be using these separately. So you can use your floorboards just to get that wood grain effect on its own, and the same with the top. This doesn't have to be wallpaper, it could be tiles. Um, it is really, really beautiful and such a deep emboss in there, a really good, good quality. So then we've also got the stamp set too. So the stamp set, as you can see, actually echoes some of the words that we saw there in our uh, embossing folder. So really beautiful designs there. So again, we've, we've got birthday, we've got rest, refresh on your, we've got special day, um, we've got take a break, unwind. So you can really mix and match all of these words. And then we've got things like bubbles in both the group of bubbles and we've got the individual ones there. We've got a little soap, a little rubber duck, 
all sorts. There's so much in this collection. It's absolutely beautiful. So don't don't forget, this is the brand new collection from Paper Discovery here. I'm sorry, I've just put my I've just put my mouse. <laughs> all my things are exactly where my mouse is, so I couldn't reach my mouse to change you back. Um, so all of these are brand new from Paper Discovery. It's the Elegant Bathroom Collection. We have got some gorgeous demonstrations. And while I go and hopefully connect with Olga so that we can have a chat with her afterwards, I'd like to show you one of her demonstrations. Now this is stunning. She's going to use the bath and it's actually mi she's mixing it with something from one of her previous collections. So take a look at this. Hi there, it's Olga. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can combine a few products from my latest Elegant Bathroom collection to build up a scene. I'm going to start by creating a card base. Mine is made out of white cardstock and it measures 5 and a quarter by 7 and a quarter inches. I have also made a frame that is 5 by 7. Then I'm going to use the papers from the collection, I'm browsing through them and I have chosen this one uh, with the tile pattern to create my background. The papers are A5 size, so I trimmed it down to 5 by 7 inches. Now I'm applying some liquid adhesive and I'm sticking down my background onto the card base. Next, I'm going to take out all three die sets from the collection. They include various elements uh, like bathroom and vanity and uh, all the images are the same size, so they all work together perfectly. I really wanted to use that bathroom curtain, so I've die cut it out of vellum and the die also creates some embossing. I will be attaching the curtain onto the frame and the frame itself is 5 by 7 and it is from the diorama die set from the previous releases. You can also create a 5 by 7 frame using your paper trimmer. So this is how I'm attaching a curtain. I'm flipping the frame over and then I'm applying a thin line of glue along the top of the curtain as well as along the side. And then I'm uh, sticking it down into the corner. The vellum is less porous than paper, so it takes a bit longer for the glue to dry. And this is why I'm also using some strips of uh, washi tape to hold it down in place. Next, I have applied some foam squares all around the perimeter of my frame at the wrong side. And now I'm sticking it down onto the card base. What I have now is an empty bathroom that I will fill in using some other elements from the die sets. First element I'm going to add is this cornice or a lambrequin. Uh, this one works perfectly with the curtain. I've die cut it out of a gold mirror cardstock and then I backed it up with a couple of layers of white cardstock and this way I have a dimensional piece much like a chipboard. I'm going to stick it down onto the frame using the liquid glue, just like this. The next element is a bathtub. This one has a lot of detail, both embossing and debossing ones, and uh, this decoration in the center can be used for embossing, but I'm going to stencil it. I'm simply putting uh, the die cut back into the die, and then I'm applying some distress ink with a sponge dauber right through the holes. Then I'm using the same ink and the same sponge dauber to go all over the edges of the bathtub. This way I can also add some shading. These two small die cuts, uh, also the part of the bathroom collection, are the legs of the bathroom. I've die cut them out of gold mirror cardstock. Now I'm applying some glue and simply sticking them down onto the white legs that are the part of the die cut. And now I'm also going to create a foam for the bathroom. So I'm going to use one of the stamps from the set. It has a lot of sentiments plus some images and this one at the bottom is the foam outline. I'm going to stamp this image onto a scrap piece of uh, vellum using some embossing ink. And then I'm going to apply the white embossing 
powder and heat set it. As you see, it is super easy to come up with the ideas using this collection. You simply have to mix and match the elements, play around with them, and you will end up with lots of card designs. Once the powder is heat set, I'm going to use the scissors and cut out this image. Vellum is great for fussy cutting since it's much thinner than the cardstock and uh, you will end up with a very neat edge. When I was just about to attach the foam image, I thought that an actual person would look great laying in the bath. So I decided to use this ballerina, it is from my previous Nutcracker release. I will just have to trim down this image a little bit, so I'm using the scissors and uh, I'm cutting off that skirt outline. By the way, all people images from that set are perfect scale for using with the bathroom dies. So now I'm placing the die cut right behind the bathroom, I'm trimming off uh, the extra, and then I'm just sticking it down using the liquid glue. Then I'm uh, reapplying some glue at the wrong side of uh, the bathtub, and I'm sticking it down over the bubble cutout. And again I'm going to trim off uh, everything that is uh, sticking out of the outlines. Next I have applied some foam squares, just like I did with the frame, and I'm going to attach this image onto the background. I'm tucking the bathtub behind uh, the frame just a little bit, and this way the bottom of the frame will work as a floor. And now when the main large images are in place, I'm going to add some smaller details to decorate the bathroom. After browsing through the dies, I decided to use that flower stand together with the vase and uh, that rose. The rose is die cut out of uh, green paper and white cardstock. I've trimmed off the flower from the green die cut and I'm only going to use uh, the stem. And then I will be attaching the flower behind the vase. The flower stand is also die cut with a gold mirror cardstock and is backed up with a couple of white die cuts. And now I'm just applying a tiny bit of glue at the bottom of the vase and I'm attaching it onto the stand. Then the entire thing goes into the corner of the card. I'm attaching it uh, onto the frame. Now it's time to add the sentiment and this is really a fun part because I am going to use the embossing folder to create it. This folder is uh, full of different sentiments and it can be used as a background, but it's really fun to make um, the labels with it. Here I've used the small rectangle die, this one is from my stash the smallest one from the nested set, and I'm going to place it behind the sentiment. I'm simply opening up the folder and I'm applying it at the back, and this way I can see through and uh, I can say where exactly this sentiment is going to be positioned. And then I'm going to use a couple of pieces of washi tape to tape down uh, this label. This way it's not going to shift while I'm sending it through the machine. Once I've sent uh, the folder through the die cutting machine, I'm going to remove the tape and this is what the finished label looks like. It's just like real metal. Then I'm attaching uh, the metal plate onto the background, again using the foam squares. At this point, I decided that I would like my focal image to stand out a bit more, so I'm carefully detaching uh, the foam squares, and I'm going to apply some ink with a sponge dauber just around the image in this area. I'm going with circular motions, trying to create the very soft edge. 
Then I'm going to attach the bathtub back onto my card. The foam squares have probably lost some of their stickiness because I'm using them for the second time. So I have applied a little bit of liquid glue onto each one of them. And now I can stick down the image onto the patterned paper. The scene is finished now and all I have to do is to add some finishing touches. I have decided to go with half pearls. I will be attaching them uh, all over my card. Some of them will go onto the bathtub, some of them will go to the cornice and onto the curtain and of course to the metal label. This is what the finished card looks like. Here you can see I have added a necklace to the lady as well, but in real life please never put on the pearls when you are taking a foam bath. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, I hope I demonstrated how simple it is to use this collection. So just take out your dice, mix and match the elements, go with the flow and you will end up with lots of interesting ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you back soon. Isn't that absolutely stunning? That is a beautiful, beautiful card. And I was really impressed actually with how Olga embossed that relax word because I never would have thought of just cutting a small piece and using a tiny amount of the embossing folder for that. So you've then got all of those words that you can use embossed. You don't have to use them all together. Now, as promised, as you can see, we, well, hopefully see in a minute, we have got the lovely Olga joining us. Let me just make sure she's not on mute because I am prone to that. And hopefully, Olga, can you hear us okay? Yes, I can hear you fine. Yes. How are you? Thanks. I'm doing great. We have the first, first real snow this year, so it's quite beautiful outside. I'm so oh, jealous. I really, really want snow. <laughs> we've got no well, the UK has had snow, but um, where I am in the east, we've had not a single flake yet. Maybe a little tomorrow, but that's all. But um, thank you so much for joining us today. I know you're a couple of hours ahead of us, so it's mid afternoon for you. Um, are, you are you and family all okay? I didn't ask. We haven't had a chance to have a chat yet. Yes, uh, I'm doing fine. Good, good, excellent. So we've got the brand new collection. Sorry, I'm speaking over you. So we've got yeah, the no, brand I new- I just wanted to say that everyone's safe and healthy. So, so far everything's fine. Excellent, excellent. I'm really pleased to hear that. We usually have a little bit of a chat beforehand, don't we? So um, I'll catch you later instead. Um, so we've got the brand new Elegant Bathroom Collection. It's absolutely stunning. We're loving it. Um, we've just seen your demonstration with the bath, the lady just lounging in the bath, which is where we all want to be at the moment. Can you um, tell us your inspiration behind this collection? I mean, what, what made you choose to do a bathroom collection? Well, uh... First of all, we, we already have a couple of living room collections, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to spread to spread the products all over the house. You know, <laughs> so, uh, hopefully soon we will have other rooms as well. And if you have any suggestions, you can mm, please comment. There and, we go. Uh, so probably yeah, we'll we'll have some interesting <laughs> other interesting rooms. So everyone, Olga is asking for suggestions for, for new rooms. <laughs> yeah, bathroom is uh, quite interesting to me because uh, lots of beautiful things can be put in there and it is about beauty and relaxation and uh, now we are on lockdown so we stay at home all the time. Yes. <laughs> I think we spend more time there than we normally would. <laughs> Absolutely. And I'm sure everyone's wondering as well, is this based on your own bathroom at home? Do you have the gorgeous roll top bath? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it was worth asking. <laughs> but probably I will, when, when I have it remade, I will think of something interesting. I want it to grow flowers, actually. Ah, yes. yes. There's they, they like humidity, and uh, I think it's a great way to combine the bath, the bathroom, and the home conservatory. 
absolutely definitely because you've got lots of plants in this collection haven't you hidden amongst everything else so um we can yes, certainly be using each dye set has at least one little plant yes excellent i love plants love like you say bringing plants to the indoors so um have you got a little um sneak peek about any further collections have, are you working on anything at the moment yes <laughs> she's very secretive <laughs> Do you only mean the room collections or any other collections as Anything. well? Because I'm Can you working give us... on a few on a few collections at the moment, so oh. hopefully soon you will see lots of interesting things. Oh, excellent! Okay. Because we do love whenever you have a new launch; it's very, it's very exciting. So, um, just lastly, of the collection, so I've shown everybody all the all of the products. Do you have a favorite piece from this collection that you like? Well. Uh, Actually, I like all of them, and of course, I'm working working with the dice the most. But I think that the sentiment of embossing folder is very interesting because it's a very new approach to make the embossed metal metal plates with that. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, definitely. Money. Well, I know you're going to probably jump on to Facebook and Craft World and have a chat with people there, but I'm I'm going to let you go because I get to do a demonstration one as well now. So we've got two demonstrations from you. And I've yeah, been allowed I, to have I, a play as well. <laughs> Please don't watch that. that. That actually makes me blush thinking that you're watching me demonstrate with your products. But they are... I always love watching <laughs> They are absolutely gorgeous. They really are. So um, thank you so much for bringing these to us at Craft Stash. Um, and we will be hopefully speaking with you again in not too many weeks with another new collection. Thank you, Lou. All right, thank that you. Was, that was really nice to see you. And you. I will catch up with you again properly later. Thank you. All right, take care, Olga. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Olga there, she's absolutely lovely, isn't she? So, as I said, I do get to have a play, but before that, I don't think I've mentioned something now. You probably take this for granted on a Friday when we have the lives that we are going to be doing a little bit of a giveaway. And we absolutely are this week, of course. There will be three winners. I apologise for not not announcing that at the beginning but most of you watch week after week so you know that if you're commenting underneath this feed whether you're on youtube whether you're on craft world or whether you are of course on facebook on the craft stash page you can comment and the lovely maria is in the background she is sitting there watching and watching all the comments come through and she will randomly pick a comment from each of those platforms and you three will be winning a prize which i will be announcing at the end of this hour how long have we we got 30 minutes left that's all i've got a demonstration we have another video demonstration from olga and then of course we will be um announcing those winners and sending you over for another big competition as well to win even bigger so do i get time to, is it time for me to craft i'm really excited about this so come down to my craft desk so i have got things prepared already now i'm actually going to be working more with the uh, vanity and the um the vanity and the accessories these die sets i adore these i really really do i noticed olga's you just used the bath that we saw in the last one and i know what she's using in the next demonstration so i'm going to go in the middle and go a little bit different so as I said to you, there are elements to this collection that are actually um, really quite big, bigger than you'd expect. And one of those that I want to cut for you is the mirror. Now look at this, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I had a mirror like this in my bedroom when I was younger, so it's really nice to see it again. I've got one hanging on the wall now, it's not quite the same. But I'm going to cut this from an ivory colored card stock, and I've also cut it as well from a mirror card too. So I'm just going to pop that in my die cutting machine because what I wanted to do was show you the detail that you can get from this die. So just run that through once. Now Olga's dies all cut absolutely beautifully. So we can see there we've got the frame shape. Now by cutting that from mirror card as well, what has come out of the center is the mirror that will slot quite easily back in there. So you can actually have a mirror. Now, I've used a brushed metal mirror card. It's actually from Sizzix, part of their opulent cardstock range. 
so you get your matte metals in there but you've also got high shine mirror card in there and of course on craft stash there's lots of different mirror cards but if you were to get a high shine one it would really truly look like a proper mirror so the person the recipient can see their face in it if they wanted to now i've gone a little bit different so we do have the fantastic paper pack included in this collection from Olga but I've decided to go ahead with some different papers for a different look that you won't see from Olga or from any of the other design team um, now I'm going to bring in this is this is me not being prepared look I've got a blending mat this is part of their craft stash essentials range we have the ink blending mats but this has still got some ink and paste on from the last time I used it so please excuse that I've actually turned it over it's all dry I've turned it over so it won't affect my card here but I'm bringing in some patterned papers I believe these were from Stamperia a collection we had a while ago so you may still be able to get these but I thought this vintage look to these papers is going to work really beautifully with the sort of theme that we're getting through this bathroom um, so I'm just going to try and keep up while I'm just inking the edges. Have a look through some of the comments. Thank you for your kind comments. Your hellos to Olga as well. I'm sure she'll be jumping on the comments and speaking with you. And she'll be able to see all everything you've said. All those lovely comments about her new collection. Now I just inked the edges with brown there. And this is, um, what do I use? It's Walnut Stain from Distress Ink. And you see it just lifts the edges up more so once you put it onto the card it does finish the edges off so I like to do that on most of my mats and layers whenever I'm working with something it's not always a brown either it really depends on the color of the card stocks that I'm using so it may be a black it could be a navy blue but a very very light shading of ink around the edges there just to lift those up I'm going to pop this away I'm actually going to leave it out so I remember that I need to, whoops, I've just thrown my ink, my blending tool away there. Um, I'm going to leave it out so I remember to wash it because it needs a good scrub. So those are going to go on there. This is a gatefold card. Now what I love to do when we're creating rooms like this is um, make it so it's as if you're walking through the room. So I showed you at the beginning there was a card that I created that um, where you had the mirror on the front I don't I think I've dropped that as well I'm throwing things about all over the place today I think I threw that card on the floor by accident as well but I'll try and pick it up during the next video so I can show you again um, but you walk through the room from the mirror past the dressing table past the window and the curtain and then towards the dress form and with this card it's going to be a gatefold so you're going to be able to sort of open up into the room and then you can put even more elements on the inside as well so now we've got the choice we've got lots of elements here i have pre-cut some already and one of those being this gorgeous curtain so this is like a shower curtain for your bathroom but it works equally as well in a dressing room or a bedroom or a stage a theater things like that we've got a beautiful emboss on there and i've already inked this with a little bit of that same walnut stain brown hopefully you can see that embossing in there the die does the embossing for you as you pass it through but you can accentuate that as well by using it with a rubber mat and something else i'm going to bring in which is part of this collection which is where olga has just thought of absolutely everything is the curtain rail so i have trimmed off the end because it has two really ornate ends but what i'm going to do to make it really look so you could just pop it behind just like so if you wanted to but I'm actually going to feed it through some of the slits that we've got in this curtain so as you can see there uh, let's go behind this one and back out the front and that to me just gives the impression that this curtain is hanging on the rail as you can see there so we've got hopefully you can see that all okay now I'm going to place things before I glue them down so I'm just going to place that there something else I have cut out from the um, bathroom set and that is I mean it's all elegant bathroom that's the name of the collection but this is from the fitting set is that basin that wash basin with the gorgeous gold center taps there as well and I love these old ceramic basins where you have the, the raised plinth at the back as well really really pretty so this is going to go in the background here i'll glue this one down so that's just going to be a background piece around there my mirror that i cut out i'm going to place just 
on this side. So I'm going to glue this down now. If you're really clever, you could probably attach the glass for the mirror in and then make it so that it actually swings because we just joined on the edges here. So I think you could probably attach it so it looks as if it can move, which would be really clever. So popping that mirror on there, that frame. So I'm just putting that down completely flat with some wet glue, but you can absolutely be, of course, putting that on with foam pads and foam tape. Lots of those available on the craft stash. Don't forget all the previous um, or many of the previous paper craft dis paper discovery. I'll get my words out in a minute. Paper discovery collections are now twenty five percent off. You just need to pop in the code PD two five at checkout. So go and have a look at those. You may not have come across paper discovery before. You may be a huge fan um, and just waiting for these sort of discounts to be able to top up your stash with new collections. So with that, I'm just going to bring there, and I'm going to trim the end of the rail. Hopefully you can all see that okay there. So, so far we've got this bathroom starting to peek through. I've also cut that dress form. I adore a dress form anyway, but this is so pretty and elegant. So I've cut it from a brown so it looks like it's uh, wooden there. And I've also then gone ahead and I've cut the bodice part all over again as you can see so this is just from a, a pink cardstock and I'm going to mat that over I've gone round the edge in with a little bit of brown but I've chosen the pink it matches the flowers in the paper so it's really bringing everything together and I'm going to place this on the left hand side of the card but slightly overlapping so the whole card looks as one and then you have to lift one side up to open to the other side I'm not actually going to be decorating the inside of this card today. Um, I'm going to be doing that another time. But just so you get the get an idea, that's going to peek. Actually, go in front of the curtain there, just in front. So we've got the the wash basins just in the background there behind, and that's actually quite a good size. So the scale is absolutely perfect of elements to each other, isn't it? which Olga does, always does very, very well with her collections, keep everything to scale. So the beautiful like ballerinas and everything we saw from the Nutcracker collection, they're going to work perfectly. You could have a gorgeous ballerina in front of the mirror, having a look at her new, what do they wear, leotard and tutus and dresses and things, um, admiring herself in there, or dancing in front of the mirror, of course, just getting ready for a performance. There's lots and lots that she can be doing. Now, I have chosen to, to stamp the sentiment, take a break there, uh, just cut round it with my scissors. I didn't use a die to cut round it, inked round it again. Um, and I'm going to incorporate in here uh, one of the plants. Now, so um, Olga was talking about the plants and I'm just going to position this, I think like so. So it's as if, almost as if this is a shelf in the bathroom and the sentiment is and the plant is just on top of the shelf there so i'm going to hold the two together where i'm happy with them in fact what i'm going to do it's a little bit of an afterthought i'm just going to snip this leaf there i'm going to place this down and then i'm going to have that the rest of that leaf or vine trailing from underneath i'm lucky that didn't land glue down on the mirror I'm going to have it coming from under here. There we go, so that's better, so we can, we don't lose anything there. So there we have it, there's my take on Olga's collection. So that's using the vanity, and I think it's the accessories, I'll just check the vanity set, and yes, the accessories set. But then I've also got the basin from the fitting, so it's actually using all three. But you've got the little walkthrough bathroom there. So there's another look at that. I absolutely love, when I get chance to demonstrate because it's just so much fun for me I love it now we have got another demonstration from Olga I just need to tell you about something else that's happening and I will go over this again at the end if you'd like to go and grab your diaries in a moment we have free craft alongs happening every Wednesday whilst we are all in lockdown or certainly we are in the UK anyway so I'll just make sure I've still got you. Have I still got your stream? Because it's telling me I've lost you. Hopefully I've still got you here. So we've got free craft alongs happening on Wednesdays. Now these are going to vary in time so that we make sure everybody has a chance to come along and have a play. 
no particular product required you're going to be learning techniques and things during these so every Wednesday from now on Sam Calcott did hers last Wednesday and in conjunction with that there was a fantastic offer so there was 20 I believe it's 20% off made to surprise that runs until the 20th of January that's next week isn't it 20th of January if you want more details on that offer from made to surprise if you missed the craft along that last week on Wednesday no this week this we're only on Friday aren't we this week pop along to craftworld.com you'll find there's expert pages if you go on to the craft stash expert page you'll see all the details for that offer next week we've got the lovely Christina Griffith she is going to be joining us for her craft along that is going to be at 2 p.m. I believe on Wednesday do check the details with us though and then the following week I'm going to be joining you at 6 p.m. And then after that, we have Helen Griffin from um, Simply Made Crafts. And then we also have the lovely Claire Rowlands from Daisy Made Designs the week after. That will take you to the middle of February. That is a free craft long every single week between now and the middle of February to get you through this lockdown. Like I say, just bring all your crafting tools. Come and have some fun with us. Check out all the details on craftworld.com. So another, another demonstration. We're getting three demonstrations in. We have another one from the lovely Olga. Here. she has done a quick card for us so take a look at this and I will be announcing some winners as soon as I'm back hi again I'm going to create yet another card using elegant bathroom release by paper discovery this card is going to be a little bit naughty but it's uh, easy to make and it's a lot of fun this die set called uh, the fittings die set includes lots of elements like vintage bathtub washstand floor scales and a fancy toilet and this one is what I'm going to feature in this card so first of all I have created a card base that is about uh, three by five and a half inches plus one gray panel that is a tiny bit smaller so that I can have a white border all around I'm going to create uh, the background using this embossing folder from the set. So I'm placing uh, my panel right inside the folder and then I'm going to send it through the die cutting machine. This is going to create both the walls and the floor of the bathroom. You can totally use the pattern papers from the set to do the same thing, but the folder gives you much more texture and of course with the folder you can create as many backgrounds as you like. Now I'm applying some liquid glue at the wrong side of the panel and by the way it's double sided so the wrong side can be any side and I'm sticking it down onto the card base. You can totally use the tape adhesive, I just ran out of it. Now I've die cut that uh, toilet uh, image out of plain white cardstock and now I'm placing the die cut back where it belongs and uh, I'm going to apply some ink through the openings. The ink that I'm using is sponge sugar distress ink. And by the way, guys, if you are sensitive about the toilet topic, please forgive me. We are on lockdown here in Ukraine. So being on lockdown, somehow you think of toilet much more than you usually do. The next step is backing up the stenciled die cut with a couple of plain ones. This is completely optional, but I simply love layering because it's easy to make. It doesn't add a lot of bulk, but it does help a lot to make your images stand out more against the background. Then I used the same die plus a tiny scrap piece of gold mirror cardstock and I've die cut just that chain part. I'm trimming down the die cut and I'm uh, sticking down the golden chain right where it belongs. That's a very simple way to add just one more little elegant touch. Now I'm applying some liquid glue and I'm going to stick down that image onto the card base, uh, shifting it a little bit to the right. Before the glue dries, I'm going to tuck a little carpet just behind that toilet and the carpet is from another die set called the accessories die set. And then I'm just going to use the scissors and uh, trim down everything that hangs off the edge. 
that toilet paper die as well as the toilet paper holder are also the part of the accessories die set. I've die cut them out of white and out of gold and uh, it's uh, really simple to put together. You are simply feeding uh, that stick through and uh, now you are ready to attach this image onto the card. I'm using a tiny piece of washi tape uh, or you can use the regular tape to hold both pieces together. I'm attaching one small foam square at the wrong side of the die cut just to give it a little bit more dimension. I'm also applying the glue onto the metal holder and then I'm going to attach this entire thing onto the card base next to the toilet. You can see that although this card has uh, some uh, intricate details, it's super quick to put together. Now all there is left to do is to add a sentiment and I'm going to use that relax hanging sign. I've die cut it out of gold and out of white again and uh, now I'm going to attach the golden plate on top of the white base. Then I'm going to kind of hang this sign onto the toilet. And yes, the relaxed sentiment works not only with the bath, but with the toilet as well. And this is it, guys. This is how easy it is to make this type of scene cards. I really hope this card will bring a smile on someone's face. And I also think that um, it can be used to decorate the bathroom. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe and healthy. If you are on lockdown like me, do enjoy the time spent at home. I wish you all a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Another beautiful card. There's so much that you can be doing with this elegant bathroom collection from Paper Discovery. Now, I don't know if I mentioned, but it has been in the comments. If you are spending over £25 on the brand new Paper Discovery Collection Elegant Bathroom, you are going to get a free stamp set. I'll show you the stamp set in case you missed it earlier, and I will be going through the products again in a moment. It is a huge, a huge A5 stamp set. Let's look in detail, actually, at everything that you are getting before I quickly announce the winners. Come down to my desk because I have, first of all, I want to show you the inspiration. Now, you just saw the card that I made there. Um, I'll photograph that and get that up on Craft World later. We've got a beautiful, very, very elegant card here. I'll just check who's that, who that's made for. Oh, by Anne, the lovely Anne Smith. She has made this for us using that beautiful dress form there. And of course, one of the sentiment stamps as well. We've got the embossing folder in the background. We've got the papers included in there as well. It is so pretty, so very elegant as well. Um, I did I did briefly show you this one earlier as well, the dressing room using lots of the vanity elements there. So a room that you can browse through. And then we've got this dressing room. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Very, very elegant with that black there. So it's like a high shine. If I just tip that, you can see the shine. It's like a high shine mirror card that the, everything's been cut out of. So it's almost like silhouettes on that stepper card. Very, very clever. Then we have an easel card and that's with the bath there. Look at that. That is a bathroom that you'd love to relax into, wouldn't you? That is beautiful. And of course, the, there is a die that cuts this little side. Can you see it's on a brad there, so it moves. And that embosses the relax detail as well. There are photos, whoops, there's photos of these online, so you'll be able to see it, craftstash.co.uk. You can see all of the elements. And then there's another card there, that's that full bathroom. You've got the toilet and the basin in the background, but the beautiful bubbly bath in the foreground, creating the bubbles in the same way as Olga did in her first demonstration with that bath and that stamp there. So the products that have been used are these. So we've got the paper pad, beautiful paper pad, 180 GSM. There's 12 different designs in there. You are getting two of each of those. We've then got the vanity collection there. So many dies in here, and that includes the dressing table, the mirror, and uh, that mannequin, or not mannequin, I apologize, the dress form there. 
And then we've got the accessory set. So this includes the curtain and the mirror that I was demonstrating. And we've got all the towels, um, the bowl base in there. Absolutely stunning, absolutely perfect, of course, to go with. I've got these in the wrong order, but to go with the fittings. Now, this is the main elements of your bathroom. So you've got your basin, your toilet, your weighing scales, your taps in there. You've got your roll top bath. You've got your chandelier. I should have cut that for you. It cuts absolutely beautifully this is the stamp set that you will be getting completely for, for free it's worth 7.99 if you're spending over 25 pounds on this brand new paper discovery collection and in addition if you're looking at these looking at the paper discovery brand page over on craft stash and you're thinking actually i really love the quintessential conservatory I really love, oh, but there were so many under the sea. There was loads and loads of different collections. Look at the past collections because you can get 25% off of those as well using the code PD25. We've then got the embossing folders too and we've got the gorgeous wallpaper and the floorboards. Now you can make that into any room. You can bring in um, Olga's previous collection where she had the Welsh dresser and she had the windows and she had the Christmas tree, the armchair, the lamp. You could make that into a living room as well. You could make it into any room, couldn't you? It's really clever. And then the embossing folder that Olga said she really, really loves so much because you can pick out those words and just emboss small details. So it can be really subtle if you want to. Of course, you can highlight those words as well be sanding them adding ink to them as well and really picking them out and making even more of them so i think it's time for me to announce some winners so i need to find where i've got my winners listed so three of you chosen one from youtube one from craft world and one from facebook will win a selection of the paper discovery products now what you need to do if your name is called out in a moment you'll need to just send us a message and we will get that to you we'll need your postal address if you are on YouTube, what I suggest is if you can get over to Facebook or Craft World and message us on there, it's much easier than on YouTube. So you can message the pages directly. If you're on Craft World, if you message um, the Craft Stash expert page or you can message um, Natalie as well. Natalie is our Craft World editor. Any of us can take your address and pass that on to be sent out to you. So I'm on my own. I can't really do a drum roll on my own, can I? But from Facebook, we have Vicky West. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much for watching and for commenting, Vicky, as well. You have won some of these products. We'll get those out to you as soon as we have your address. Uh, from YouTube, we have... I'm going to do it anyway. Marie Bland, congratulations to you as well. Again, like I say, if you can get your address to us, please do so. We'll get those out. And lastly, on Craft World, we have... That was nearly a, an awful drum roll there. Crafty Chris, congratulations to you. You have won as well. So thank you all for watching these. Now, if you didn't win, if your name wasn't announced there, don't be too disappointed because there is another chance to win over on Craft World. We do this at the end of every session. Go over to craftworld.com. You'll see on the homepage there is a chance for you to enter to win a huge competition for paper discovery. So pop on over to there. If you haven't done already, Craft World is the free platform that you can join so you can interact and share with other crafters and of course with your favorite crafting celebrities like, uh, I'm, I'm not a celebrity, but myself is over there. We've got Sam Calcott, we've got um, John Lockwood, John Next Door, we've got Phil Martin, of course, from, um, I, nearly, I nearly said simply yours. <laughs> he'll, he'll have me for that we've got phil martin over there as well we've got loads of other names as well please come and join us over there and you can enter these competitions to win so like i say on wednesday very exciting we do have another free craft along with christina from card making magic she is going to be joining you she's going to be actually looking at decorating and particularly decorating boxes so bring your ribbons bring your gems bring your buttons and your glues bring projects that you maybe have created doesn't have to be three-dimensional boxes that's what she'll be using maybe you've got card fronts that you're thinking it needs a bit more she'll give you lots of tips and techniques share her expertise for decorating those so you'll have some fun there that's at two o'clock on wednesday on craft world and on the facebook page 
and then we have on Monday myself and Natalie are going to be doing our ready steady craft again who watched that last week because that was really good fun please join us this week I'm actually going to be sharing on Ho Chanda my brand new collection on Tuesday at three o'clock so we're going to have to do it Monday at three o'clock on craft world and on Facebook as well join us we do actually send out the cards we make as well that was a bit of an impromptu decision during the last show last week but we had so much fun over the weekend you can vote for the winner we'll announce that on Monday between myself and Natalie so please join us then so that's three o'clock on Wednesday we have of course got what's hot two o'clock on Tuesday we've also got at 7 p.m on Tuesday pretty gets gritty has her craft along with her paper craft society box I'm really excited for that as well and then at three o'clock on sorry two o'clock on Wednesday we have Christina joining us for a craft long there's a lot going on next week catch up keep up to date with your emails we'll tell you everything there I will see you on Monday for Ready Steady Craft. But for then, have a lovely weekend, everybody. I hope you get the weather you're hoping for and enjoy.